Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. What we do is we uh, make uh, items out of stained glass. Um, everything from uh, small sun catchers that can hang in your kitchen window to uh, giant panels that can fill uh, the wall of a room. I probably started 30 or 40 years ago as a hobby, as a school teacher with a hobby. And now we do uh, primarily residential installations and then we have a nice product line that we sell out at art festivals. We do a great deal of historical uh, stained glass work. Uh, Frank Lloyd Wright had a very distinctive, it's called Prairie Style. Uh, there is Art Nouveau, there's Victorian. A lot of people realize that, that stained glass is really part of a gracious home and they'll come to us and we'll design something for them. And there actually are more places that, that uh, can take stained glass than you might think offhand. Uh, if you start with the entryway of a home, you'll have the side lights that are either side of the door. Uh, very often the door itself will have a panel that could have some beautiful stain, stained glass in it. And then over the door you can have a transom, a rectangular transom, or some of the larger houses have beautiful semicircular transoms. So we recommend that you leave the existing window in, in place and then you'll put our piece on the inside so it's protected from the weather and then you have all of your insulation values of your original window. What you get is it is the way to make your home distinctive, to put a signature on your home. A lot of times with these houses built so close to one another it really gives you something beautiful to look at rather than looking into your neighbor's home. We've got a $5,000 install ready to go out tomorrow, which is a beautiful scene of latticework and grapes. And it uh, took us uh, about three weeks. This piece is ready to go up to uh, Beltaire tomorrow to be installed uh, in the wine room. It is finished. Of course, it's going to look much more beautiful when it's up against a piece of plate glass with beautiful light coming in from the back. What you can see here are the grape clusters finished and put together. We did see on the pattern that each of these grapes has its own number. This is so when we get the hundreds and hundreds of grapes cut and wrapped, we know how to reassemble this picture uh, to come out the way it was designed. We call that a tortoise glass with the beautiful swirl. That's the natural nautilus shell with the stripe. It's triple cut so you get the front, the back, and that center piece is the center section showing all of the uh, chambers. The one next to it, it's the same shell. They dip it in acid and polish it and that's the mother of pearl that is just under the surface. That's actually our most popular color now. We call that seafoam green. This is an idea of what the process involves. Here we start, this is a smaller one, but we'll start with a circle of glass. Uh, we use a, a circle cutter so that the circles come out perfect. Here are the shells that also have to get wrapped with the copper foil. And then the whole piece is tacked. This is a tacked piece ready to be soldered. And here's an example of uh, a long side light panel the glass portion of it getting wrapped. You will also notice that Bob has some masking tape on his thumbs. That's to uh, prevent uh, getting sliced either by the edge of the tape, which is like a paper cut, or by the glass itself. Stained glass works that it's best viewed from the side that has the least light. So at night, if people have a beautiful stained glass transom over their door and they turn their entryway light on, it really lights up the whole block. And they can see whatever beautiful picture of swans or flowers or whatever they might have. During the day, when you come to answer the door with the sunlight coming in, that's when you get maximum effect.